Hey guys, it's Coach Mike Ryan, and welcome to part three of our seven-part arm care series. And the title of today's segment is called Communication. And I think this is one of the biggest disconnections out there when it comes to arm health is the inability of players communicating with coaches, players communicating with parents, coaches com communicating with players as well. And it's really simple. Uh, I believe uh, several years back, I heard Coach Ron Wolforth of the Texas Baseball Ranch coin the phrase, uh, listen to the pain or start with the pain. And what we're talking about here is when your arm as a player, when your arm has some discomfort and soreness, it is not ideal to just try to ignore it and throw through it as much as it is to simply communicate the pain or the discomfort or whatever you're calling it. Now, um, let's look at it like this. If your arm feels like 100%, okay, and it, like almost like if we went to a doctor's office and, and if we ranked a your arm was a zero, that means it felt 100%. If it was 10, it would be my arm's absolutely killing me, right? So if you said, say, on a Friday, uh, say you have a tournament and you're going to pitch just a couple innings, you're going to throw 42 pitches or whatever you're limited to, and you said my arm is a zero, meaning it feels 100%, okay? Uh, that's all great, but what starts to happen is maybe the next day you play a little bit of shortstop, maybe you got a double header, and on Sunday, the coaches are going to bring you back to throw again because you only threw so many pitches on Friday. But now on Sunday, you would say, if you were honest, you'd say, okay, my arm doesn't feel 100%, but it feels pretty good, and maybe it feels, say, 95%, right? So really, on the pain scale, it just went up to maybe a 2 or maybe a 3 but you're still like, hey, I'm good, I'm tough, I can compete, right? But the problem is you're not communicating. So now what starts to happen is the coach is absolutely thinking he's getting the same version he got of you uh, the other day. And keep in mind, for players out there, your coaches are not mind readers, right? They cannot read how your arm is feeling. Now, the other thing is for coaches, coaches get in a habit of asking players how the arm feels and what we use here at fastball usa is a ranking system if my arm is a zero it's basically i'm 100 percent. i feel great i'm really good to go right so uh, almost like going to a doctor uh, and that one two three scale it's a low uh pain threshold there's a little bit of stiffness soreness maybe a little bit of pain uh that kind of thing and if you start getting to a four five six we would call that significant it's enough where it's definitely probably going to block you uh, in terms of performing on this particular day. Uh, it's enough where, where you notice it and you may go, okay, that's enough of that for the day. Uh, and of course, the seven, eight, nine, ten would be my arm is killing me. So here's the thing. So if a guy comes back, say, on two days rest and he goes from, say, a zero on Friday and now he's at, say, a three on Sunday, but he's, of course, going, okay, I'm going to compete. There's nothing wrong with my arm. I'm good. I'm a competitor. Uh, if you do that enough, quite quickly, that arm uh, pain or whatever we're calling it is going to quickly turn into a, a four, five, six pain on the pain scale. Maybe not on that particular day, maybe after he's done throwing, maybe after going through that cycle a few times, but the bottom line is the pain threshold goes up. Now, at, here in, in our world here at Fastball USA, a lot of people will come to us because they want to throw harder, okay? So now, what's the first key element to throwing harder? What's the first key element to having better accuracy or a better breaking ball? It is that your arm has to feel good. If you feel good, you're going to throw good. So the mistake that I see that it gets con uh, is commonly made is people have just accepted that arm pain is just part of the game and we should grind through that. And, and I don't think that's a good plan for youth and high school players is, and, and probably even college players is we're not trying to grind through that, but we got to learn to do is communicate the pain. So I, I would even say, I'll give you a kind of a couple things on this, is uh, when we do our camps and, and I do my evaluations for the first time, I'll have a player say rank his arm, the worst it felt in the previous season or during the current season at, at its worst, meaning uh, zero to 10 on the pain scale, the higher the number, the more pain. And say a player says, well, a four or five or whatever number they rank at six or seven, there has been times where, you know, the parent turns like, wow, I didn't even know his arm ever even bothered him. And 
it's kind of that thing. It's like that that guy thing. Hey, we're just going to grind it, and we've accepted that arm pain is is just part of the game. We need to get past that. What we need to start doing is communicating the pain. The other thing is I'd like to see coaches get better at is asking, how does your arm feel? Maybe rank it. How do you feel on a scale of one to ten? You know, a zero being, you know, I'm I'm feeling 100% right now because um, the other side of this is I've had parents um, very quickly answer his his arm is his arm is good. We watch his pitch counts all the time. It's really low, and I almost feel like that's parents defending their parenting, and, and I would never want that or never feel like that is ever being questioned. It's that's not the case. Uh, you could watch pitch counts, you could watch recovery times, and your player could still have pain. But if we discourage them from communicating the pain, then we're creating an environment where they're going to try to pitch through things or throw through things or play through things that we're not going to get. So so let's review this, okay? Again, once again, if your arm feels good, that's when you're going to throw good. That's when you got your best fastball, your best accuracy, your best breaking ball, more than likely. When you your arm starts feeling 95%, 90%, we're only getting 95% of your arm strength, 90% of your arm strength. Your accuracy is going to slowly suffer a little bit. Your breaking ball is going to suffer a little bit. So while everybody's out there is trying to change performance and velocity enhancement, step one to me, if you want to improve performance, is the arm health is a critical point. Now, how a player feels. Now, this is this comes from different, uh, what do you want to call checkpoints or, or perspectives, because you could have a player in pregame say I'm at a zero. Now during the game he's at a three, four, or a five, just for an example. Uh, or he could be at a zero uh, during the game and he may finish the game at its worst a three. The next day he feels more like a five or a six, meaning his recovery is more where he feels the pain. Or for some guys it's while they're in the act of throwing, uh, and some guys, unfortunately, it's even before they get on the mound and actually throw. So my my point to that is where where the pain is happening, where it's more most significant, may tell us a little bit a little bit more uh, what we have to focus on. And and the other thing is, I would say when there is pain, there is discomfort, and people admit it. I think everybody's really quick to just jump to workloads. Um, hey, he's just pitching too much. Um, recovery time right and mechanics right those are the big things you know workload recovery time mechanics but it is far it's a far bigger puzzle than that uh, because there's other things involved his strength mo- his strength and mobility uh, his physical structure uh, his training regimen all of that his sleep his hydration his rest all of this plays a role into arm pain so uh, what I'm trying to get across here uh, really strongly is in this third part of the arm care series as a player uh, get used to communicating and we're not questioning your toughness if your arm is a little bit sore right um, I've had one player comment to me that uh, he thinks that their arm care program in the college he goes to is simply uh, taking a few Advil and saying okay call it a day that's their arm care program if I pop a few Advil my arm feels good I'm good to go that's not the direction we obviously want to go in. So uh, it, again, if we simply communicate, right, and we communicate better between player and coach, coach and player, and as well as the parent communicating with the coach and the parent communicating with the player, I think we can get better at really kind of, we're never going to solve this uh, arm problem. There's going to be some, of course there is. But so for example, there's a lot of kids out there that are going to throw their arm as a three or four. And they're going to go out to the mound this weekend and they're going to go pitch, right? And they're not going to tell anybody and nobody would even know other than if their performance severely lacked. Um, again, if you don't communicate it, your coach doesn't know. There, there's there's not a coach out there, at least I, I would hope, that's not trying to shortcut and sacrifice your arm just for winning. They, they do care. Uh, believe it or not, but the communication's got to be both ways. Once again, coaches, I would encourage you to talk to your players. We don't want you to throw through the pain because, again, once you're at a two or a three, that's quickly will jump to a four, five, six, and then monitor after they're done pitching. What about the next day? Uh, part two of our arm care series, we talked about the importance of recovery, and we're going to get more into that. How do they feel the next day? What are we doing to get them back to 100% 
or zero on the arm pain chart as best they can. And, and remember, what pain is, uh, pain, discomfort, soreness, whatever we're calling it, right? What it is, it's just feedback, right? And so some people will be like, well, you know, that is awfully subjective for a 11, 12, 13 year old kid to say, I get that, it is subjective, but uh, whatever we're calling it, pain, soreness, whatever it is, is we're better off trying to encourage them to communicate how their arm feels because once again, we're not mind readers and oftentimes by the time we start to see it, it's actually gone well past that three, four, five rank and now it's hurting them so bad, it might be a six or seven and then we gotta shut them down. And then again, for most teams out there, if they're travel teams, you probably got a small roster, especially the younger guys, 11, 12 guys on a roster, you cannot afford your players going down with sore arms. So this is also a way to get ahead of this. Um, you can't afford for your top pitchers to be going down on your high school team or your college team. So communication to me is how we get in front of this and communicating how my arm feels. And players, once again, uh, especially the youth and high school level, we can't be worried about losing our spot because we're not ready to pitch. What we simply have to do is the, do, be the best we can and be as 100% close to healthy as we can when it is our turn. And if we're not communicating that, we're gonna get further away from a healthy arm. So uh, this is the human side of it, where no pitch counts, no rules of recovery can fix this. It is the comfort and the ability of a player to say, hey coach, you know, my arm is a zero, it feels great. Coach, my arm, maybe I'd rank it a four or five. I'm definitely sore, I've got some pain, and I'm not stressed out that I can't go pitch the championship game uh, and push through this just because my arm's at a four or five. And I think most coaches would agree with that. So I'm gonna kind of coin the frames, let's communicate the pain, right? Let's get excellent at communicating player to coach, coach to player, and parent as well. Let's make this uh, a situation where it's an open conversation and we don't uh, look at a coach uh, terribly because he's got a player with a sore arm. Or we look at a parent uh, it's not bad parenting because your because your player hurt his arm. It's just getting it open out there. That way we can communicate it and get out in the front. So the message today: communicate the pain. Everybody get better at talking so we can make sure the goal should be is as often as we can get our players feeling a hundred percent. Be about a zero on that pain scale, and that would be really good. Okay. So if you have any questions. Shoot me an email, fastballusa at hotmail.com. Check out our website at fastballusa.com.